Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! The next on the list of our miniatures to look at, this is a Massive Darkness Overlord put out by Cool Mini or Not. I hope I haven't shown this to you already, but this is how big he is next to a man-sized model. So, pretty huge. I'm using it as a Nathalgu, which is in, I do believe, Bestiary 2, and that is a Brain Collector. The Brain Collector first debuted in Castle Amber, an early 80s module. And I, I think it was. Guy, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. So anyway, lots of colors. I, I must have painted these eyeballs like eight times. I, I'm not even exaggerating. To find sort of this greenish yellow thing that I finally settled on. There's purples. There's like a charred brownish black on the ends of these things. And in fact, if you look under here... Well, you can't really see it, but there's a lamprey-like maw. And in my imagination, that's where he sucks the brains out. But it is an overlord from Massive Darkness. That's a recent board game that's come out. Board games are putting out better and better figures. And I think I bought this guy for like 15 bucks on eBay. And that's it's not really exceptionally inexpensive, but... It is a pretty good bargain for what you get in terms of a really cool figure. They're made out of some kind of resin. It's not as bad as Reaper Bones. And, but it's not as good as like a proper like Games Workshop plastic. Uh, but it's pretty awesome. And like my other uh, role-playing figures, this one has been matte coated 10 times because he's probably going to get a lot of handling. I've remounted this, by the way, on a 40 millimeter base. Uh, don't know what system that's from, actually. No idea. It's not Games Workshop. All right, there you go. Uh, and if I've said anything amiss, the name of the model or whatever, just correct me in the comments, and I'm more than happy to to uh, learn from my errors. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.